post talk in about it. What is organization behavior? Right, right. Manager or a subordinate, what in organization. So when you talk about organizational behavior, we talk about people in an organization and how do they behave, right? When you talk about people in organization, uh, organization and interface, you see three, three identities. One is an individual, second is an organization and there is an interface between the organization and the people, right? Organizational behavior uh, talks about study of people in a an organization with respect to themselves with respect to their inter interface with other people in the organization and with respect to the organization itself. So that's what the study of organizational behavior is all about. So historically we talk about a subject like this, when do you think the word organization behavior started getting into existence? Is it 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years? What do you think will be the, would have been the age of this so called OB? It's, always, it's ultimately called OB. What would have been the age of this as we know now? 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 100 years, 1000 years? Well, as we know as organizational behavior, it is only last 20, well I would say around 30 years, 20 years. Well, we have been learning about physics, chemistry over 1000 years. Management, how many years could it be? About management, something on management, would have been almost around 100 and odd, 100, 300 years. Because when the industrial revolution took place, then we know otherwise those are simple trade, barter and people were living like that. Now, when the industrial revolution took place, then you have this management as a, so I don't think it was called as management, but people are now understand it as management, but there are uh, treatises and theories proposed by Plato and Aristotle thousands of years back on how a society should run. Run, organization should run and things like that. But from the point of view of uh, management as a concept has been only around uh, 200 and odd years when the industrial vision took place. After the industrial revolution came the, well during, as, as a course of industrial revolution, the, the first thing we came to know about is scientific management. Uh, this was developed by a term point by Frederick Taylor, uh, who uh, by extensive studies realized that all organizations are exist for productivity and performance. So though performance was not the word used then, productivity. So he analyzed that there has to be a standard way of working and people given a job should perform in a particular way that will call, that will take so much of time and then that's what he assess and then he developed standards of norm, norms for any work it was to an industrial setup. After the scientific management several people came in and brought out some theories of uh, human uh, or people uh, oriented uh, theories uh, 
I want to get into theories then, but I would, the two experiments that came out in the early 20s, about the, the standard Hawthorne experiment it is called, where uh, 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 just to understand what people are, how people are, how behave in organization that uh, in, in in USA uh, the people are working in a, right? the lighting in the particular uh, room uh, went on increasing and then they realized that it is also helping in the productivity of the people. But after some time when they reduce the intensity or illumination of the light, what do you think happened to the productivity? Of, of the persons, did it increase or did it decrease? Huh? They started at uh, a particular illumination intensity. They went on increasing the illumination of the light. The productivity improved. After some time, they started reducing. Illumination reduces. Logic there, what he says, the fact is it increased. Why do you think it increased? Despite the fact illumination after some time started reducing thing, productivity still increased after a particular time when it was too difficult for them to work until that point of time. What I'm trying to say is the earliest Behave was out. The fact that people, the productivity increased because the 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 group of people working in the organization realized here is an organization. Here are people, who, management was trying to take care of us. Here is, there was a time when they less and they started recognizing, caring for us, and they went on performing well. So I really want to bring in terms of when was this first so-called research in organization behavior. Started was around almost roughly around 100 years back. Even to, uh, whether still psychology as it was earlier called, uh, this organization and every institution. Globe actually have you know a dedicated uh, in the area of cognitive behavior. I said earlier, my job is not to talk about theory. I wanted to give you what is the application of cognitive behavior. Here, how 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 they are, how, they, how it is important to us. Now, how do, I'll put a question back. to you, why do you think organizational behavior is important to us, to us as
individuals or people working in organization why do you think it's important okay hmm give us a standard right okay improves quality of service okay uh, what is the normal span of your study until 20 years of study now how many years more that you are you will be living roughly around 60 years right do you think what you learnt in your school and college is the the entire learning that you have actually you learn more within the first 5 years of your career than probably you know more more than your last 5 years of school or college so you are actually i would say you are reborn in an organization you are educated in an organization so that's one reason why we need to understand about organization behavior because whatever you study but the behavior gets reflected in an organization i am not talking talking about an organization it's only a factory or a or a service center or a hotel or hospital and things like that i am also talking about even an institution is an organization even this also is an organization but what i'm talking to say is people actually are reborn in an organization and then get educated in an organization second reason why uh, we need to study organization behavior is that uh, it is because of organization and the salary that we were paid we are able to acquire some material for our own comfort so it's something like we need to give back to the organization for getting us the opportunity to you know earn and then uh, what do you call acquire some material resources for our own uh, growth and third is uh, in fact better part as i said earlier is of the organization is uh, because of the organization and even after you retire you are going to be part of one organization or other maybe an ngo maybe Uh, senior citizens uh, you know uh, foundation and all that so until you your last breath you could be part of an organization so it's important we need to study about organizational behavior uh, in fact uh, when we talk about organizational behaviors uh, though i want to put it on the slide later it's, it's not just by study and then discussion the class in a classroom that you learn more by constant interactions with people uh, You don't study. Uh, you, I mean, uh, you, in fact, I always tell my students that don't limit uh, about your study of organizational behavior to what you study. Study in a classroom. If today you are talking about, uh, we are discussing about motivation. I appeal to you after you go back home and go to your organization where you are working. Reflect on what are the things. or study this one to over that is probably happening around you the observation will add or help you to learn about the subject much more than a just simple study so that's what i would to appeal to you okay now let us try to understand what we what is in store for you in this uh, session on organizing behavior so we're going to the next uh, i should say 15 20 minutes we're going to talk about what is an organization a definition of organization what is organizational behavior something i already briefed you earlier why should we study organizational behavior i said that what is the application of organizational behavior where is it applied and then what is the course curriculum in this next uh, session i will explain to you what are the various things that you're going to discuss uh, that be on your web this is something which
is of interest to me. Uh, this is something we which I have then I'll put the state of the to my knowledge, there is no other reference book than a book by Stephen Robbins. I don't know how many of you heard of this book. This is the type either in or for a fountain or a book stall you please today currently we are on the 13th edition of Stephen Robbins when I I was almost two decades back I was in the edition Today you have the 13th edition of Stephen. P. Robbins running. So pick up any book. Well, 9th edition that will perfectly suffice for your study. Now, something on the background activity earlier. Just before I move here onto the slide that will help into uh, reinforcement. You are welcome to ask me any questions uh, uh, during your discussion. Well, definition of organization is a consciously coordinated Social unit. What? Consciously coordinated social unit. Very right, very right. coordinated it's not that this happens you know it's not just people walking on the road and then something happens a very consciously coordinated so social unit composed of right that actively continuous basis to achieve a common goal clear so, anything can be an organization provided there is a goal, there is a common set of uh, goals. There are people more than two. And the consciously coordinating with each other and this is on a continuous basis. Okay, and what? What is then organization behavior? Can you try to bring out what do you mean by organization behavior? Next slide. Please understand by organization. 
your own terms. Okay. Okay. Now, oh. you put a word standard here. With everywhere. of behavior should be the same so when you, when you use a standard standard I will put it this way with respect to that organization where they are. Right? So, when you talk about organization, I think I mentioned earlier, you have individuals. A group of individuals is called a group. And the Group of this group is called an organization, very simply put. Or this organization is otherwise called a structure. Right? No, at the macro level, it is a structure, and then below that. is a group of people under each structure and the group of individuals. When you are talking about organizational behavior, it means you are talking about individuals, about groups and about organizational structures. So, we are going to systematically study as we walk through some uh, chapters under individuals behavior, some chapters under Under group behavior and a few chapters on that. Organization as a whole. So, what is organization? behavior is where a field of study that investigates the impact that individuals, groups and structure have on behavior organizations for the purpose of applying such knowledge for improving an organization's effectiveness. Why do organizations exist? What are we here for? In fact,
like we talk this institution as an organization what are we all here for you and me here for how to improve the effectiveness of this organization so it just can't happen you and i have to perform well so you as individuals or in this organization students have to perform well i as a faculty have to perform well i the between me and you so together as a group we have to perform well at this structure which is defined rules discipline etc etc so this is what is um, understanding of organizational behavior well it's very simply put that this way but uh, so many things as you discuss Okay, you will be intrigued to know so many aspects of organizational behavior that you'll come to know. That uh, you will be, uh, I mean, in fact, you will say is this also organizational behavior? That would be a question that you would like me to ask. Okay, why? study organizational behavior why do we study organizational behavior just to the because earlier First and foremost, as I said, pardon. Okay. 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 Second, we learn most only in the organization. So we learn about ourselves also. Not only that, we also learn ourselves what we are. In fact, so far it's been mostly individualistic in terms of our study. When once you're thrown into organization, studying with people around. So you also then you will realize because there are so many people who are going to give you a feedback. Hitherto, the feedback about your performance based on an examination that you have taken. I am just giving most of the people, uh, young students who are passed out. The feedback of your performance is based on an examination you have taken. Your teacher or evaluator gives you a score. Today, most of the experienced people would uh, agree with me. Uh, many of you, of your friends or colleagues, would have given you a feedback, right, about your behavior. So most of the learning that you know about yourself will happen only in this organization. So that's the reason that you got to study OB. to learn about yourself how how to deal with others is very important so it's, it's in fact the most complex being on earth is the human no you can you can
can condition, you can make uh, any, even elephant perform uh, to ride a bicycle, but to make uh, man do that, oh, it's very, very, very difficult. It uh, depends upon several factors, situational, 